as me and Coach Mullen, we had a previous relationship. Just him, I prayed a lot on it. So just him coming back in my life at this time, I felt like it was just the, the best opportunity and the best place for me to be. A lot's been made about him offering you your, your first scholarship. Mm -hmm. I know you've talked about it, but what do you remember about that day and, and, and him recruiting you early on? Yeah, I actually um, went up for a visit, and I think I think one of his coaches came down like for a game. I think they were actually watching somebody else. I just let's caught their eye, and then I went up there for a visit. And I mean, I mean, when he offered me, it was just like, it was surreal. It was just crazy in that moment. I was so young. I like I didn't really like know that was gonna happen. I wasn't really expecting it. So like just that happening. What did he? I mean, you were in ninth grade. What did he say to you, if you can remember back then, about what he saw in you or what made him make that move? He said it had a lot of potential and just being that young and the things I could do and the throws I can make. Like then, like he said, it was just like crazy. Like what I can do under him. Like when I get older. That's like my best way. And you had Mississippi State. I mean, you were considering them for a while yeah. until your your offers kind of blew up. Mm -hmm. What was it about? Was it was a lot of it him and Coach Coach Johnson that made you even consider the Bulldogs? Um, well, it was kind of that. And like when I went up there for a visit, like, I went around the whole town. It was like, like kind of like my hometown. It was like a family feeling type deal. And just all the just the people there in the program like he was building there. I mean, it stood out to me. Obviously, fans know a lot about Coach Mullen at Florida, not so much about Coach Johnson. Mm -hmm. um, what is he like as a coach, you know, and what do you remember also about when he, he was recruiting you yeah. back then? I mean, he's always an up-tempo type guy, he, and he's always like, ready to just work with his quarterback. So I mean, that's a great thing. I want to just be like, in the classroom with him a lot. And that stood out to me a lot about him. And just like, back then when I was, like ninth grade when he offered me to. Um, I mean, it was just like, he was just, like basically he was just stuck on just trying to develop me. So that stood out to me. Now, when things kind of picked back up with Florida, he got the job, um, he reached out. Mm -hmm. What were those, those initial conversations like, just kind of rekindling that relationship with Coach Mullen? I mean, they were um, pretty mutual because we, I mean, we talked before and just talking now, it was kind of, like about like real business, and I liked that, and I went up there for a visit. I felt, I mean, I felt at home there too. And I mean, just Gainesville all together, the people there, and just Coach Muller and Coach Johnson, and their, like, like their mindset on me, and what they're trying to do with me, I mean, they stood out. He came in on, on an in-home visit, and he, mm -hmm. he talked about how he, he told you and your mom that we were the first and we were the last. And yeah. it's, it's, it's gonna be funny how, how it works out. You know, what do you remember about that initial meeting in your home and, and, and how it played out? I mean, it was kind of just a laid back type, my type situation. But I mean, like they like they gave the spill to me and my mom. I mean, we heard it before though. I mean, so, I mean, it was like kind of crazy. And my quarterback coach, he felt like very confident in like their system and what he's bringing to Florida. I mean, I just love his personality too. I mean, he's a funny guy. Actually, when they were there, um, for the sake of coming after, they actually had knocked on the door while I was there. I mean, while they were there. And um, we had to tell them to come back later. And they uh, went there and said, we're going to eat up all the food so they don't have nothing left. <laughs> so, I mean, it was kind of funny, just the relationship with them. Did they eat the food? Yeah, they did. They had it all. <laughs> they had it all. Now, obviously, things got pretty hectic for you that final week. When did you know that, that Florida was the school for you? Not, not, not a decision, but like in your mind, you told yourself, you know what, I, I think I can go here. I mean, well, I was signed on Wednesday, and I really made my decision like at 11 o'clock Tuesday night. Wow. So it came down to the wire, came down to the wire, but... I, mean, I just, I had to just pick what would be best for my future. So I feel like that was it. And then obviously, you know, that day came. What mm -hmm. was that moment like for you just to sign and, and reveal to the world where you were going? I mean, it was crazy because I mean, that's where I was going to be. I'm down. I mean, this is what I worked for. And for that time, just come. And for it, like, what like, actually happened right in front of my eyes. I mean, it was like surreal. Last few things for you. Uh, who came in second place for you? Florida State. Florida State. Florida State. Um, how, how close was that decision with the Knowles and what did you like about their program? I mean, it was like very close because 
like the offense Coach Taggart is bringing to Florida, I mean to Florida State, and and the guys you have by like Florida State is already there, and just the up tempo type offense, and I can like run that pretty good. I, t I love that type of offense. I love how he's gonna use me, and. I mean, came down to a wire. He's a great guy, a great coach. Now, you've already been rattling off some of the guys that you're going to be targeting. Yeah. Uh, who specifically or are you going to be trying to talk to and get get to join you at Florida? Um, uh, Justin Ross. I think I have a little time to get with him. I know he's still with Alabama and um, all of stuff like that. But I feel like I can talk my talk with him and get him to Gainesville. Uh, Jacob Copeland, he's another one. Um, Tommy Bush, Richard, uh, Nick. Offensive yeah. tackles? Yeah. Now, the receivers, do you have a relationship with any of those guys? Like, did you, do you know any of them from, like, camps or just visits that you've taken before? Yeah, I know all of them except Tommy. I mean, I talked to him on, on over the phone, but I had never I, I met him in person. But Jacob, yeah, I've been to, um, I was at Bama with him. A couple of camps with him and stuff like that. So I remember, no, I, th I threw with him a couple of times. Oh, wow. And Justin, too, I threw with him a couple of times. So. What's your relationship like with Jacob and what's your confidence yeah. level, too? I mean, he's. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I feel very confident in him. I mean, I mean he's a, a funny dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's a, a cool to be around. So, I mean, I'm real confident in him. And, and lastly, with, with recruiting other guys and trying to make this class um, you great, how much ownership do you take on yourself of kind of being the leader of the class and taking you know responsibility to help turn the program around? I take a lot of um, ownership in that because I feel like I was the guy to commit first and just lead the class and bring a, a lot of guys in that can change the program. And I feel like this class will be the, like the class to actually do it. So that would be a great thing on our part.